January the 16th, 1940. Ben Bailey launched in the warmer lifeboat and 22 Italians were taken off the ship Ramuda, which had run aground on the North Goodwin Banks, heavily laden near the Dunbar Castle. Sunday the 21st of January, the Dutch coast of Nora crashes into the pier after being mined earlier during the day. The explosion blew a large hole in her stern. The captain, L. Brinkman, and mate, H. Devrian, were badly gashed by glass. The Kirk Herndon, who was badly injured, was dragged from the demolished galley. Seaman B. Abbas was blown overboard and picked up by the patrol vessel after spending half an hour in the freezer sea. The same patrol vessel took off the rest of the crew. The cook was detained in hospital. Tugs beached the Nora 50 yards south of the pier, but as the tide rose, it slowly pushed her north along the beach and into the pier. 70 yards of the pier was destroyed. Thursday the 28th of February 1940, Dickie Lill and Matthew Hoyle were fined 10 shillings for selling plywood to Cavils the builders. The plywood was washed up from a wreck that foundered in the channel some days before. Wednesday the 6th of March, an Italian coal ship is detained in the Downs and her cargo of coal is taken as a prize. Wednesday the 7th of March, amateur fishing is banned. Only fishing at night is allowed and boatmen fishing for a livelihood is allowed, providing they take their ordinary crew members only. It is rumoured that pleasure trips will be forbidden in the summer. Sunday the 21st of April 1940, a young Spanish stowaway jumps overboard from a steamer and tries to swim one and a half miles ashore but gets into difficulties. Warmer lifeboat is launched but the man is picked up by a Norwegian ship's boat then transferred to the lifeboat and returned to the ship he jumped off. He claimed England was the only safe country to be in. Saturday, June the 1st, reports of intended evacuation of Dill's children. Paris was now taken and the defence of Calais enacted. Saturday morning the motorboats Gypsy King, Lady Haig, Rosemary, Golden Spray and two other boats from the Dunbar Castle are towed to Dunkirk. These aided in the rescue work for 48 hours. A pontoon with about one dozen soldiers on it got into difficulties and was knocked back ashore. Harry Brown jumped overboard and fastened a line to it and the occupants were towed to safety. In the golden spray was 70 year old James O'Neill and with daylight fading a number of troops were waiting at the water's edge as they said they couldn't swim. O'Neill jumped into the sea and assisted them to the boat. On Sunday the 2nd of June 1940 the evacuation of the Deal children took place. In 1941, there was only one recorded memoir. Years ago, £3,000 was willed by William Bevan for the benefit of Dill and Broadstairs boatmen. After the removal of Broadstairs boat benefits in 1912, Dill boats were consigned to receive the full benefits. In 1932, the Dill lifeboat was removed from the beneficiaries entitled to a Bevan from the services rendered at sea. The warmer lifeboat was proposed as being among those entitled to claim on the Bevan Trust, but this was strongly refused. The Trust was closed in 1970s. Ben Bailey was on active service during the war years and the next recollections from his diary start in 1945.